to another <clears throat> video that we're going to be doing. Uh, I get a lot of requests of how I have all of my panels set up and how you can do this uh, instruments um, with uh, using touchscreens and using uh, Air Manager. And so basically I was going to give you a tutorial on how to get Air, Air Manager installed and get everything running with the Phoenix. So first off, you're going to want to go to SimInnovations.com, go to Shop, and you're going to want to purchase the Air Manager version 4 for desktop. It's about 65 pounds. I'm not exactly sure what that equates to. I want to say like $62, $60, something like that in US dollars. Um, you do not want the Air Player. That is for uh, iPads, that kind of stuff um, that you want to run from <clears throat> using one of your iPads. Sorry, excuse me. Um, these knobsters is what I have. Uh, these are 95 or you can look up a you know DIY knobster. Um, I have one of these for each of my four panels uh, that I have built. My I do DIY. They're very simple. I do not know anything about soldering. Uh, buying these was the first time I've ever soldered, so they are very simple, very walk step through, walk through. Um, but these are the real deal. Has a nice overcasing, um, and this is more professional. So if you don't mind wires hanging out the you know, back of your panel or anything like that, um, then you can go and do the DIY. But if you don't have a quite that setup, then I would go with something like this. So um, once you download that, you purchase it, you get your copy. Um, you will go and it will pop up and this is what your air manager will look like. Um, obviously these are all of my uh, panels that I currently have uh, the set up. And so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to new panel and you can go to the blank panel or a, if you've paid for any of them, they have a bunch of different ones that you can purchase for um, and download. So you can put any of those in here, but uh, you'll start with uh, just for you know uh, adding this. So we're gonna go to add and we're just going to go to just a regular panel. These are all the different monitors that I have, but we'll just set it for this one. And here is our first blank page. So now we have that. Now we need to in import the instrument. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to simstromation.com. This is our website here. Um, just go to get our GitHub. Basically, if you just type in simstromation.com, it'll bring you here, or you can type this link in. Um, and you know, bring you straight here. Uh, you'll scroll down, kind of get you a little bit about uh, what we're doing, what we're, our goal is. Um, and so here is all the different aircraft that we have. Um, so you can see we've done quite a few instruments and uh, sneak peek, we are uh, doing, getting ready to start doing the uh, Boeing 787, uh, the Dreamliner. So uh, it'll be uh, it'll be a while before we actually get that out. If you go over to our Discord, you might get uh, some you know panels and stuff like that, some instruments to test out and stuff like that, and be part of the beta to test it out. So um, here is some of the uh, all the instruments that are on for the we have one for the Cessna CJ4 just to kind of give you some ideas because you do have to place all these instruments. Uh, the, they don't come as panels. Uh, we build them instrument all the instruments individually so that way you can place them because so many people have different size screens uh, to be able to put that stuff on. So. Um, this is for the Cessna 172. This is for the Classic 172. This is for the Baron. We have the switch panels, all that stuff. And here is for the uh, Mooney. And so, uh, but you can come on over here. So we're going to go ahead and download the Phoenix. Um, Phoenix Airbus A320. Uh, there's some for the fly-by-wire as well, but we're going to download this. And the only one that we have currently done is this one here, which is the MCDU. Um, and so you'll just click on this right here, this file right here, the SIF file, and you'll just click on the download. Once you download that, you'll come on back over to your Air Manager. And once you're in your Air Manager, you go up here to the top left, you'll see this create slash edit tab. This is where we're going to import the actual pan, the instrument that we want to put in. So we're going to import. And then wherever you save all of your information, all of your panels, uh, your once you download it, wherever you save it to. So it could be in your downloads folder um, over here on the left, or I save mine to a, uh, a SSD. And so here's all the Air Manager instruments, the Phoenix, um, and then here's all of the different ones. Here's the MCDU that we just downloaded. So you'll just click on this and hit open. And obviously yours won't have this. This says this instrument already exists. Importing will replace the local copy. Want to import it, you'll click import, and then it'll pop up with another little box, and it says yes. So now you have that inside of here. I have had some in instances where you have to actually close out up here of um, Air Manager to get the, it to recognize. So sometimes it doesn't recognize it um, immediately, so close it out, open it back up, and then 
go back to your panel that you created, which will be down here. Yours will probably be at the top because you don't have um, as many panels as I do just yet. So maybe you do. Uh, that's awesome if you do. But um, here's your uh, panel that you just created, the default. That's what it starts off with. And so first off, we're going to go ahead and hit instrument, add instrument. And then we're just going to type in, you won't have as much, but you'll just type in, you know, MCDU. And here's your Phoenix MCDU. And so you can, I have a couple different ones that we've, you know, these are obviously testing, but this is the one that we imported. And you'll hit add, and it puts it right there on your screen. Now you can uh, go in here and shrink it down to whatever size you want. This is obviously a 19 by 20, 1920 by 1080 monitor. Um, you can size it to whatever you want. You can go over here to this little arrow and you click the drop down. And then here's the actual instrument itself. And you can preserve the aspect ratio if you want to make it wider, but and keep the same height. You know, you can you know, uncheck this and then you can move it however you would like. So if you want to keep the aspect ratio to keep it the same, uh, I, I suggest that you do because whenever you go to pop out the screen for the Phoenix, um, you, it will keep the same aspect so it'll so all the things will line up for you. So, um, And then here's where you can scroll down. There's different options for this. You can do the pilot MCDU or you can do the first officer. Uh, so you can ha actually have two of these MCDUs and independently work from different from each other. So uh, once you get that done, and then only thing else you need to do is just pop out the screen and um, I use Popout Panel Manager, um, which is this program, and um, it works great. Um, I suggest, highly suggest you use it. Um, it looks like this. It's very daunting at first, um, but it's super, super easy to use. Uh, it just looks a little bit kind of crazy. So you'll move your camera where you can see the panels that you want to click. We hit Start Panel Selection. You'll click on the panels that you want to that you want to pop out, and then whenever you're done, you hold down Control, and then it'll say Start Pop Out. You start pop out. Once you pop them out, then you just resize them wherever you want, and then down here in the bottom, it'll say Lock Panels, and then that's basically. And then as soon as you start get into the aircraft, it automatically pops them out for you and places them for you. So it's very super helpful. Um, so. As many of you guys uh, want to know, there is one more thing that you have to do. So this Delta Charlie, he's the one that actually did all of the um, instruments for the Phoenix. We just did the MCDU and transferred it over. He also did an MCDU as well. Um, so you can just go into his instruments and then you have the main panel front. And here is all of the instruments that you need to download. So you just go to each one of these and you'll just hit the download button. You download it it'll all pop them up inside of there and that's where you can basically get all of the instruments so delta charlie's the one that um has actually done it if you need this link i'll put that i'll put it in the description as well uh the link for this and i will put ours in here and i'll put some innovations i'll put all three of them inside of here um and so we will we will get that uh put down in there in the description for you so and then once you get basically started, uh, you've got all of your panels. Now that you got your panel here, then you can start going in and adding all the instruments that you did, and you can create these different layouts. How I got mine to look just like this is, is if you go download off of the, let's go over there and show you that. Pull that up real quick. To get to it, you just go to Sim Innovations, and then you're going to go over here to Support, and you're going to go over to the Forums, and then just go up here in the top right, and you're just going to type in Fly by A32s, but type in zero. But here's the collection, and you can just go to this little Google Drive here, and here is all of the instruments for the Flyby Wire that was done by uh, Yelvez, and so you can download that. And here is the collection. You'll download those. And once you download those, um, that's whenever, uh, same thing, you do the same thing. You download them. You go to create, import. Once you import, you import them all. And then whenever you do that, you can hit panel. And then that's whenever these will pop up. And so basically all I did was is I just selected this panel for the fly-by-wire, hit add. And then I went into each of these instruments and added them one by one. So I saw, okay, we need the uh, EFIS for the captain. I would add it, and then I would click on this, and it tells us exactly what size it is. So I'd take the 563, 326, 
um, type that in to make sure. So we'll just go ahead and show you how to do that. So we'll just type in EFIS is what we need. And it's right up here at the top. So here's for the Phoenix that we downloaded. We'll hit add. And whenever we hit add, it automatically will put it down here in the bottom. And as you can see, if you go back to your main panel by clicking here, you can see that it's much bigger than this one, much bigger. So it's not gonna line up right. So all I did was just click on here to captain. It tells me it's 563, so you just go to here. And if you keep this preserves aspect ratio, all you gotta do is type in the first one, 563, and you can go back to it. And look, you can see it's the same exact size. So all I did was delete this one and move it in its place. Uh, so I basically copied it off of the flyby wire and then replaced all the Phoenix instruments into it. So I do have actually both. Um, so you can uh, go ahead and delete this one here. Just you can click remove if you accidentally mess up or put the wrong one in. But uh, I basically, as you can tell, if you look at this is the flyby wire and then this is the Phoenix. They look identical. Same thing with the secondary. Um, the secondary I did change up a little bit, um, but that was just be on personal preference of, you know, I fly the Phoenix more often. So. Um, but uh, same thing with the overhead, got the overhead. Um, and so, but that's how you download the instruments. Uh, if you, you know, can download any of our CJ4 instruments as well, you can download this, you know, this is the, all the CJ4 instruments to complete the cockpit. And then we have also the H jet and then the longitude. Uh, I did purchase this from Experimental Avionics. So this is a purchased one. Uh, this is a paid one, uh, these panels here, and this is the secondary. And then obviously the um, CRJ, this is the overhead panel. This is the one that we did. All of these instruments are on our GitHub as well. And here's the main one, secondary one, and the pedestal. And so uh, your knobsters, uh, those are, once you create and you build it, you set it up, basically do the walkthrough of how it does. Um, and then once you're inside of here, you can go down here, the very bottom. And here's where it says knobsters and then you can select whatever knobster you want to use um, and so uh, you can use a background where you can actually have like a solid color or a layout or a custom image or a transparent how i do um, all of our stuff or how we do usually is is that whenever we build them we actually make the image as an instrument rather than a background uh, so we can cut these out so it makes it a little easier to uh, to add those in there so um, but here's also some uh, another properties that you might want to check for as far as your panel. You want to lock it. You always want it on top. So that way, if you click on it or whenever you touch an instrument, the back uh, uh, so the screens of the flight simulator don't come in. And so that way you don't see the white little bars at the top and see the bezels and stuff like that. So um, I always say always on top and there is click through so that it, you can click through, uh, especially if like uh, you've got like the GTC 580. Um, or something like that. Um, trying to think for the Honda Jet, it has the same thing. You'll need to click through because whenever you get to the secondary, secondary, sorry, the FMS, whenever you get to these, you need click through because you need to actually click the buttons through here. Um, and inside of Pop Out Manager, whenever you pop it out, it'll actually, whenever this you get to this next screen, it'll have all your screens up and everything like that. And as long as they have literally a little uh, graph over here and all you got to do is just click the little button for touch screen enabled so if you need it to be touch uh, this will actually give you the ability to touch the screens uh, to where you can pop these out and you can actually physically with the touch screen touch these just like you would with the mouse and so uh, that's why you want to click through there on so uh, if you have any questions leave them down in the comment all right one thing that i did forget to t uh, mention this Fred, you'll, you'll, for the Phoenix, you will need to get this fragility, um, this quartz, Phoenix quartz. Um, so you'll want to download the latest version. You want to grab that, install it. It walks you through basically step by step of how to install it, put the binary folder. It's very simple. Here is the program that you need to add. You need to have um, the WASA model, module for Moby Flight uh, inside of there, and you need to have the latest version um, of F FSUIPC7. Need to have both of those for this to work um, what this does is, is it grabs the values for your um, for all of these numbers up here to populate because without the Phoenix courts these numbers won't be able to populate the buttons will still work you'll still be able to do everything that you need to do you just won't see these on your screen 
So for that to work, you need to have that. So make sure that you install that for the Phoenix. That again, it's only for the Phoenix. The fly-by wire, you do not need that uh, Phoenix quartz um, inside of there. So make sure you get that installed and off you go.